Hey guys, I'm Shehan from Scala Studios. I'm a social media specialist, a graphic designer, and I do a little bit of 3D modeling as well. You can find me on Instagram at Shehan Bope. So today we'll be modeling a snowman because it's Christmas. So I have done a snowman before last year, and uh, as you guys can see, it looks okay. I used the snow texture and um, used the particle system to get that look. So in this snowman today, uh, we'll be doing things differently. We are using a displacement map and uh, Eevee to do this. Uh, so the final render was done in cycles, but uh, it looks really good in Eevee as well. So let's get on with the video. So as always, we're starting with the default cube and uh, subdividing it twice. Control 2 and I'm scaling it a bit up and I'm applying the subdivision surface modifier and uh, I'm gonna add another subdivision surface modifier and make it 2 and I'm gonna add a displacement modifier create a new texture and uh, use wood and make it saw bands band noise and increase play with the size a bit and, uh, put it to the minimum and Change the turbulence to about 11 and yeah you get this look and uh, I'll decrease the strength uh, to about 0.1% and increase the subdivisions for about 6 even in the viewport because if this is an EV you can handle it and I'm going to light the scene with an HDRI I've downloaded from HDRI Haven. You guys can download the same thing from HDRI Haven. I'll put the link in the description below. And I'll place my light, adjust my cameras. Um, I wanted the tr I wanted the tree in the background, so I lit it that way. Strength of this GRI a bit. Create a new window, go to shade editor, and go to world view. If you have the node wrangler add on uh, in your scene, you can. Uh, press ctrl T and get these options place the light world settings and now I'm gonna create the material so it's a very simple material I'm making the roughness 0.1% and uh, activating screen space reflections in the material as well but I realized uh, it didn't give me the best look I needed so I We'll switch it off later and I'm gonna increase the subsurface scattering and uh, you guys can see because I switched screen space reflection in the material it doesn't change the look very much so uh, playing with the light a bit and playing with the strength of displacement modifier as well you guys can uh, pick a size you like and for me uh, this is about 0.5% with six subdivisions which I ended up using and I'm um, gonna increase transmission to about 0.5% and uh, and I'm gonna tick it off the screen space uh, reflection so then you get the snow look, the one uh, look that I needed. Duplicated the sphere and scaled it down a bit and placed it on top. Duplicated it again, placed it on top 
then selected everything together and angled it a bit. And then I selected the camera and um, went to camera went to the camera settings and uh, ticked depth of field on. Selected the color picker and uh, picked the top sphere because the face is the most important part. And placed the light so that the shadow you can see a bit of shadows but not much. The face is lit well. I went to textures.com and delete, uh, downloaded the texture material. Now I'm going to create the ground plane. Increase the scale a bit and decreased it and went to the camera view and placed it on in the bottom and scale it a little bit more. Now I'm going to subdivide it about 20 times and uh, scale it a bit more and subdivide it, control 2. And now I'm going to select proportional editing and uh, push and pull some vertices to get this look on the flow. Go to the shade editor, create a new material, control T, I'm going to place it in the roughness and uh, go to the materials I downloaded, create and pick the roughness map, run color data. And uh, you guys will see uh, in this tutorial, I am not going to use the vector normal map node. Uh, there's a reason for it. I'll show you guys what the reason is. So yeah, I joined the normal map straight to the normal bump node. And uh, the texture looks too big for me, so I scaled it down. I scaled it up a bit to about 5. So, yeah, that looked good. But I wanted to give it some more depth and some more realism to it. So, I uh, added a displacement modifier and opened a new texture from the snow material itself and uh, decreased the strength to about 0.11% selected the UVs scale it down so you guys can see now the texture looks okay but uh, it's not perfect so I needed the texture map to scale down a bit as well So I scaled it down, uh, scaled it up for about five scales from the same, and uh, now it looked a bit, a, bit, a bit wonky. So I increased the subdivisions a bit more and decreased the strength to about 0.01, and I played with it until I was happy. So shade smooth again uh, to see. Uh, I, um, so right now I'm playing with the strength of the displacement modifier and I settled to this and uh, yeah, it looked pretty okay
So you guys might have seen uh, some black spots in the on the floor in the final render I had. So it's that's because in cycle blender crashed. So I had to open up. Thank God I saved it. So it's important. So make sure you save it all the time. Every time you make some changes. So I decreased the subdivisions in the viewport because it blender crashed for me and now I'm creating the eyes of the snowman in the final render you guys might have seen that there are a big bit a few black spots in the floor that's because of the normal map um, we didn't use a normal map node so that's the reason for those black spots so for me it looked real nice so that's why I kept it that way without changing it so if you guys don't want those black spots you can add a vector normal map to the normal map before connecting the normal map to the normal map node so yeah in the hat of the snowman make his nose as well it's just an orange shader Rotate it a bit. I'm getting a quick render. So you guys can can't see those no normal map defects in the in EV, but in cycles you'll see those black spots. So it'll look real nice. Um, it looks pretty natural and real nice for me. So I left it like that. But if you guys want it to look pure white, you can leave it. Uh, you can put the normal map in between the bump and the normal map. The normal map node in between the normal map and the bump map. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, this is the final render. I feel like doing some variations to this and making a second video, a part two video to make it look better. And um, so subscribe to this channel to get it later uh, when I upload it. Um, so all right, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And uh, if you guys are modeling this character, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. So again, um, subscribe to the channel, share this video, like it, and thank you guys. See you.